In this video, I will be showing you guys a very easy money method that you guys can do right now in GTA Online. This money method will have a few requirements before you guys can do this, but the best part about this method is that it can be done completely solo, which in my opinion just makes it more worth it. So guys, without wasting any more time, let's dive straight into this method. So this money method will be evolving around the hidden caches, and along with this later on in the video, I will show you guys the weekly challenge and how you guys can do that to make some more money. For those of you who do not know about about hidden caches essentially these are sort of crates that are hidden in the water and to find these crates you have to use a submarine with a sonar you guys could also head over to a different website for example gta lens and on that website you should be able to find all of the caches without using any sonar or submarine to give you guys a few good examples of these sonar submarines if you want to use one we first of all have the kasatka which can have a sonar upgrade along with this there is a submarine that you can buy in the Kasatka called the Kraken. The main downside to both of these submarines is that they are very slow, so instead what I prefer to do is use the Toreador. The reason the Toreador is probably the best thing to use is because of its boost feature. You guys can use this on land and also underwater, and believe me this just makes things so much faster. But now that we have cleared up these requirements, now you guys can just go underwater with a submarine or head over to that website called GTA Lens and you will be able to find all of the hidden caches on your map. For this example I will be using the sonar with the Toreador and the best way possible that I found to do this is first of all find one of the hidden caches by using the sonar, start from there and then just work around the map going and collecting them all. Altogether there will be 10 hidden caches to collect every single day. This will be a daily collectible in GTA Online which makes this even better and after this most recent event week these hidden caches will be paying out some double money and RP which will mean every single hidden cache you guys collect you will receive $20,000. So in total every single day you will be able to make $200,000 overall. Altogether from starting collecting these hidden caches, it roughly took me 20 minutes to complete, which honestly is not bad, especially considering I was going around the whole map with the Toreador. Now, like I said before, if you guys do not have any submarine type of vehicle, I would definitely recommend heading over to gtlens.com and on here, you should be able to select the hidden caches. And then from this point, you guys can just fly over there or something, swim underwater with a rebreather or a diving suit, and you should be able to collect these hidden caches anywhere. I would also be careful doing that because, especially if you guys play on next gen consoles, Rockstar did add the animals into GTA Online and honestly I was really shocked to see a lot of killer whales when just looking for these hidden caches. Now I'm not entirely sure if these killer whales will attack you or not, but it's definitely something to look out for. Now another money method that you guys want to try and do before the next GTA Online event week starts will be the weekly challenge and also this sort of bonus. If you guys open up your interaction menu, head down to the challenges tab and then select weekly. All you have to do is complete free a super yacht lifestyle missions and this will get you guys a $100,000 bonus. Along with this an additional bonus is that if you guys complete a super yacht lifestyle mission, just one of them, you will receive $100,000 within 72 hours of completion. To show you guys what this will look like if you do complete this lifestyle mission, once you log into GTA Online after these 72 hours, you should get this alert on screen, pretty much saying that you guys have been rewarded with the $100,000. So altogether that is not bad either getting this $200,000 extra and then if you guys do these hidden caches each day that is another bonus $200,000 each time. Also just remember both of these things can be done completely solo so if you guys are more of a solo player like myself this is something that I would highly recommend that you try and do. Now once again guys this will not be able to make you guys millions of dollars or anything but considering we do not have any bonuses to different businesses this is probably the best way to make money as a solo solo player right now hopefully in the next event week we do get some business bonuses but anyways guys if you went on to enjoy this video or found it useful in some way shape or form make sure to leave a like i really appreciate your support and if you are new here subscribe and hit that bell icon to never miss a video finally guys stay safe thanks for watching and i will catch you in the next one